Get off a little tickle slow early on. I was a little lazy at the beginning. Uh, after that, you keep a very steady horse. Uh, definitely uh, not a problem with the distance. Uh, I think we'll probably shaming up you know, a little more you know, next week and see what happens. We'll go with Bob and see can, what Can you tell much about the horse the first time you work him like that? Because, like you said, this is the first time it wasn't supposed to be the first time, but it was the first time you've ever yes, been on Yes. Uh, no, it, it, I, I don't think it's a horse who's very complicated uh, to start with. Uh, Except just, for saddling, perhaps. Yes, exactly. But I think prior to that, he was good. I think that's the first time it happened to him. Honestly, I think it was just uh, the freaky accident uh, happened that day. And unfortunately, you know, for, for everyone, uh, you know, the owners, you know, who, who made the trips and uh, myself and other people also too, you know. But good thing is the, the horse uh, came back, you know, without, you know, injury. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Jimmy, the assistant trainer, uh, broke his rust, you know, but uh, uh, no one was seriously uh, injured. So Impressions of him being on his back for a five Good, uh, Good mover, does everything right. Uh, like I said, was just a touch little bit lazy on me at uh, the beginning of the breeze. But after that, it's very steady horse, uh, not complicated. Uh, I think that was good. Yeah, he, he's not a real great workhorse, and I used to have him with company, and today he went by himself, but he's, he's, he's just a steady kind of horse that, uh, you know, distance is his friend, and um, Flo got to know him today, and I think he's going to work him back next week, so uh, now he knows the horse a little bit better now, so, but it, it was fine, I mean, I liked the way he finished up, he actually finished up today, he started picking it up at the last bar, so um, I worked him seven eights today. And then he'll come back, and uh, but but that's him. He's just not a you know. He's never gonna wow you in the mornings. He's not a really fast workhorse, but just steady. And and he's funny that if you try to rush him early, then he gets discouraged. So uh, it, it was fine. So that was structured as a seven eighths work. That was a seven eighths work. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know what the time official time was. Can you put in perspective? I mean, talk about running the gamut in half an hour. From this horse flipping, and you're worried about Jimmy. He's, you know, he's scratched, and then you win the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> you know, Jenny, we went. I felt like we went to hell and back in 30 minutes. Friend told me, and it, it was just, you know, the emotion. The, you know, this 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 racing will do that to you. And uh, we went from just being to the emotionally to just the low, and then all of a sudden. 20 minutes later, we're, we're on a super high, you know, we win the Kentucky Derby, and so, uh, and that's part of the game, but you know what, I've, I've been through it. every year, there's always something new that happens to me, there's a thousand things can go wrong, a thousand words, <laughs> that's the first time I've ever had a horse that had to scratch him in the paddock for saddling, ever in my life, and I've run thousands and thousands of quarter horses, and thoroughbreds have never had one scratch in the paddock. Yeah. Um, nice that Spendthrift, who, you know, partners on Thousand Words, is also majority owner of um, Authentic. So, I mean, at least for them, I mean, then they came back and still Mr. Hughes. Well, I mean, it's disappointing because I really thought that um, Thousand Words, I think he could have gotten a piece of it, you know, and so um, he was doing really, really well. And, um, but he just... He got upset, you know, he just got mad in the paddock and uh, that's why he blew up like that. But, you know, I felt bad for the Al Ball family who owned half the horse and, you know, you, he, he's coming off, he was coming off a big win. He was, everything, everything was looking great. He was gonna run a big race and then that happens to him. And so the excitement of, of 
being able to, to be ready to run in a race like that, and then he gets scratched. It's, I mean, I felt really bad for him. And then Jimmy getting hurt, and it was just horrible. Uh, but Jimmy's doing fine now. He's got his, uh, he's in good spirits. He's got his arm patched up. They've got a great surgeon that uh, patched him up, and uh, he's actually in pretty good spirits. Talk about having these two horses with your pal Wayne. Between the two, there's in just a few yards here, there's 10 derby wins. <laughs> well, I mean, Wayne and, and his crew, they've been great. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great environment for these horses. You know, his barn is fantastic. And, you know, Wayne, he's like, like staying, these horses like staying at the Ritz Carlton here, you know. So, um, but it's fun because, you know, he's, 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 a, he's still a very sharp horseman. And, and he lets me know, you know, how they look and how they're doing and stuff. So I trust what he tells me because he knows, you know, he's been there and he's he's a quarter horse guy, we know. You've got an insane record in the Preakness. Every one of your derby winners has won the Preakness. But they've all come back in two weeks. I was gonna ask you, so I how's was, this different? Yeah. I was ready for two weeks. I think two weeks we would have been, you know, wish it was this week and get it done. But, um, you know, it gives everybody else a chance to, uh, you know, to prepare and give them extra time. But. Uh, I, you know, it it is, you know, it's it, it is what it is. So um, we're not we're not worried about that. Does it kind of completely change the dynamics? So because you know we used to always talk about new shooters in the Preakness, but the best horses were in the Derby, and two weeks later the best horses seem to show up in the Preakness. It's usually a Derby horse, and often in your case it's the Derby winner. But the fact again that you've got a month, you're going to have thousand words now. You're going to have art collector now. Uh, I mean, is it just like no way to have a historical pattern when it's this so whole year has been just you know you this is going to be a, a asterisk here you know but uh, I'm just glad that we finally got to run the Derby. I mean, the Derby in May I would have had him and and three other ones and they were they were really you know two other ones and they were really good so I could have had four in the Derby and so um, you know I just feel fortunate that authentic you know he was always a t the top prospect in the barn and um, he would have been ready for the Derby in May and thousand words and the other two Nadal and Charlatan uh, they they dropped off and it's just been a crazy year Jenny I've never had such a crazier year I can't wait till 2020 is over